to Swarit Advisors. Thank you so much for joining in. You know that in modern scenario, there are people who unlawfully steal as well as infringe on someone else's design and claim authority. Thus, always, always go for design registration that will safeguard your design and thereby it will prevent design infringement and economic loss. Let's understand that design registration is a form of intellectual property that gives you the protection, gives you exclusive right to its actual owner. Statistics from around globe intellectual property organizations show that in India, design registration has been rapidly increasing since 2010. And the reasons why people are making it utmost priority is that it protects designs against imitations and unauthorized copy. From May 11, 2001, Design Act 2000 came into light and the Design Rules 2001 regulate the design registration in India. This registration grants the right to the owner to use the design for 10 years and the time can be further elongated for next 5 years. If any form of violation takes place, the design owner can look for legal help under the Design Act. What are other benefits of design registration? Design enhances the commercial worth of a product and boosts its marketability. Most importantly, it makes a product saleable. The registered design shall always be viewed as a business asset that has a rich market value. Design registration is regarded as seamless choice to establish the validity of certain rights. When a design is registered, it furnished its owner the exclusive right against unapproved copying or duplication of the design by third parties. The progress of any business entity can be related to the appearance of their product. Now, who all are eligible to take this registration and what is the criteria? To register a design and safeguard it under the Design Act 2000, you must fulfill the following criteria that I am going to discuss with you in the video. The design must not contain any trademarks, artistic works or property marks. The design must be unique, original or not previously published in any country before the application date of design registration, the basic of design is the features that are signified by the shapes, configuration, patterns, ornamentation and composition that applies to an article. Now there should be a major difference between your designs and other designs that have already been registered. Similar designs, even if it is somewhat different, don't qualify to be registered. After we understand that if you are eligible or not, let's understand what are the documents that are required for registering a design in India. You need all affidavits. Submit a duly certified copy of original or certified copies of the extracts of all disclaimers. Proper declarations. Any other documents can be made available on the fee payment. You should make sure to file the affidavit in the paragraph form it must include a declaration of truth and verifiability. Now, after we are done with collecting all the documents, let's understand what is the process. The very first step is to check for formal registration. Check if you have registered your design in the past. Just make sure. Then file for an application. Write the application for the registration and provide the information such as name, address, detail about the article, etc. Examine the application and wait for the approval. The patent office inspects it and gives you the final approval. And once your design is registered, it makes the entry into the registrar. The duration of the design registration is 10 years from the date of registration date. Furthermore, it can be extended for the next 5 years. Primary claim is a very important step. India is one of the participants in the Paris Convention. So the arrangements for the privilege of need are relevant. This case allows you to file another application in a different country for a like 
or trademark significant as of the date of filing the primary application. Another step would be design infringement. The owner can take lawful action in case of any design infringement. The lawbreaker has to pay 25,000 rupees for any damage caused by him. Now, why us? At Swarit Advisors, we are blessed with a well-experienced team that endeavors to assist you throughout the process of design registration. Our design registration services are professionally rendered and delivered by our special attorney at a very affordable rate. So, I hope to see you soon. Until then, take care. Bye-bye.